Hey guys, what's up? I decided to do a small little DIY today, so I just want to show you this DIY because I feel like when it comes to gifting friends, it's better and more sentimental and more precious when you make it yourself. So I thought of showing you this little gift-like thing which you can gift your friends. It could be guys or girls, anything. And it could be like a small little ornament or something like a keychain. You can make it a keychain if you want. It could be also like a card deco which you can use to give it to your friends or anything. Anything you want to do, you can do it. So I'm basically making out of clay. So you can, I'm showing you how and I hope this tutorial is useful for you guys. So you can make gifts for your friends and you know, share precious moments, share precious little tiny memories in the form of gifts. So I hope you guys enjoy, so like and subscribe. Okay, see you. To start off, I wrapped a book in clean film so that any clay won't get attached to whatever I'm making it on. So once that's done, you're going to start off by taking a bunch of pins and removing the head off so that we can use it to attach each part of the clay ornament together. There you have both ends pointy. So you do that for about 6-7 pieces of pins and remember the last one, we're going to turn it and make it into a shape of a hook so that we can use that to attach it to the keychain string. Once that's done, we're going to get our white clay. I'm using natural, 100% natural white clay, which I got at a station shop. You can find it at any convenient or art and craft shop. By using this, I'm going to be taking a lump of clay and trying to build the body of the little panda I'm trying to make today. You can use water to sort of smoothen out the clay. You have to work with damp clay, which is easy. Dry clay is going to make it crack, so I have a a bowl of waters that I'm going to use to help smoothen it out as I go. Once I build the shape of the body, I'm going to make the little hands. So as you can see, I'm rolling it out and getting two equal portions of the hands. Once you've got the correct size, make sure it's proportionate to the body. You take the pins that you cut out, make sure the pin is not too long so that it doesn't jut out of the body and you cut them in half as I've done because they were too long for me. And you cut it and then you insert it into the body of the panda so that you can attach the hands onto it. I attach both the pins directly where I want the hands to be. You get two pins pointing out and then I'm going to use that. Make sure your clay is always damp, you gotta wet it a bit. Not too damp but just enough so it's a bit sticky. So the clay would be at the right texture and once it's being attached it will eventually infuse itself together. So make sure you use always keep your hands moist, that's why I have the bowl of water full. And you press on to it, mold it out to be in its proper shape. Now we're going to start working on the legs of the panda. Use You repeat the same steps, get the same proportion and roll it out. And since the body of the panda is more circular, you make sure that the legs are more curved and it will adjust to the shape of the body. As you can see, I'm taking the pins and I am going to damp out the body of the panda and insert the pins inside so I can attach the legs. Throughout this entire video, we're going to be making sure that our clay is very moist. So whenever you are about to attach any part of the panda, make sure that the clay is having a little bit of moisture on both ends. So then you can attach it easily and it'll come out perfect. press firmly and the back of the legs will start have to merge with the body so you basically merge it in and smoothen it out as you go add more water now we're going to work on the head of the panda to start off you take a lump of clay and you roll it out to get a oval shape and once you roll it out and get that oval shape you can make a small wedge in between to form a bean shape you want the panda to look more well, a panda like so you make the head into a shape of a bean as you can see in how I'm doing it yeah you get a bean shape and this will be then attached to the body of the panda so once again you attach the pin into the middle of the body make sure it's damp and fix the head on after that's done we're gonna start working on the pandas ears so you repeat the same process again where you make sure the clay is damp you insert the pins and then mold out the shape of the ears which are two small balls that you will then attach to the panda's head.
Once everything's been attached, you use a little bit of water and shape out the entire molding so it's all smooth and it's just like how you want it to be. The clay tends to dry out really fast so I tend to take a lot of water and just keep my hands moist so that I can work with the clay easily as well. So that's a small tip that you could use. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to just making few final touches and we're going to fix the tail with the same routine, you know, damp clay, pin and fix. Now finally, once you've made your entire mold, you are going to insert the little hook we made at the start. I'm taking a cotton bud here and I'm just making sure the top of the panda's head is a little wet before we insert the pin. You don't want to insert it when it's, when it's dry, so I'm going to do that. I'm also using the cotton bud to smoothen out the edges and make sure like the legs of the panda is attached to its body. So I'm smoothing it it out and it'll give it a finishing touch a more refined edge and look more realistic and now once I have completely smoothened it out I'm taking the hook I made in the start making sure it's in proper shape and then and then I'm going to attach it to the pandas head so that we can use it for the keychain this hook is not necessary if you're considering giving this thing as a small little ornament to keep at the side of your bed or something like that. You don't need to do this. But in this video, I'm making it as a keychain. Once that's done, I left the panda to dry overnight for 20 to 24 hours. And when it comes to this base coat, you can usually use a varnish or a fixative spray. But I found that transparent nail polish is the most effective. So I use transparent nail polish to cover it. Next up, I'm going to be using acrylic paint paint a little panda and I only need two colors because it's panda so I'm using black and white acrylic paint I'm using a very 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 small small paint brush I think it's size 3 by 0 and it's better to be it's better you use a really small brush because it could be more precise when you're painting it so first off I'm starting with the black color a little bit messy now but yeah, I'm painting off the ears the legs hands and the tail black after that, I proceed to paint the entire body white. And you can repeat this by covering it with several coats of paint. I use three coats. And once that's done, you can move on to painting the face. Once the face has been painted, make sure once you're completely done painting the panda, you have to re-coat it with the nail polish fixative spray or varnish to make sure the paint doesn't come off. So make sure you use at least three coats. After that, I'm using now another cotton bud to finish off the edges i'm using a bit of alcohol here this is not necessary but i like to be neat i don't like it when the little hook has a lot of paint on it so i use the alcohol and clean it off and then i'm going to attach the hook onto the keychain piece and once you get it into place be very careful though because it's kind of fragile at the moment since you're working with paint and so many tiny tiny parts and once it's done voila you get a little keychain isn't it really cute a panda keychain and hopefully i'll see you guys next week